Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan Evolutions unboxing. So we've got this here, man. It is the Dragonoid Slugler uh, Battle Strike Pack. So, you know, the big, uh, I guess we'll call it six packs because featuring uh, the two, well, the three, no, yeah, three Bakugan, one uh, Geogon and then two Nanogon as well, but you know the Drago Slugler pack. So big time shout out to D Heart for picking this up for me. Definitely appreciate it. Y'all already know. Go and show this man this man some love for real. Like he deserves so much more love and support. He puts in that work big time with his reviews, unboxings, everything. Man, he's a big time uh, Baku fanatic as well, a Bakugan fanatic, and uh, really really awesome Baku tuber. And he definitely deserves some love. But yeah, dude. So getting into this, we of course got uh, the Bakugan, we got the Geogon, we got all the cores that come with it, all the cards that come with this pack, uh, of course the Nanogon too, yeah, just overall really, really loaded with these packs. So one Platinum Series Bakugan, so that being Drago, so Heos Platinum Drago, uh, we got Aquas Nilius, we got Aquas Pagatrix, we got Heos Slugler here, um, and then we've got uh, Darkest Nano Chrysalin, and then uh, Heos nano widow so chrysalin is the one that leah has and then widow is the one that magnus has so yeah just not their native factions with this of course they like switching them up but yeah i love how they've even implemented the uh, nano gun and such being like a big time they're basically like an additional um action card depending on what level you want to uh, use with it but yeah and once you use them you can only use them once and you can only use one of the uh Codes for it, but I'll explain that a little more for anybody who doesn't understand what I'm saying. If it's like I'm speaking French or something, but overall, this artwork looks sick, man. Like, look at Nilius right there, got Pegatrix, then you see Slugler and Drago up there. I just love the artwork they did for these, it looks really, really solid, man. But yeah, so, anyways, gotta check out the back. So, of course, Platinum Drago, Nilius, Pegatrix, uh, Geogon, Slugler, you know, um, Nano Crystallin, and Nano Widow. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into this. Hopefully, I don't have to reptile like crazy. But yeah, this may be the only video I have for today, you know. Because slowing down just a little bit. Because I mean, I know there's been days where I put out like six or seven videos. Uh, plan to go back and watch in the meantime. Just slowing it down for like the next few days, you know. But yeah, and just taking it easy as well. Today's my day off from like my work. And I been so exhausted coming back home that i've legit been like passing out as soon as i've gotten back but yeah but considering like last night slash this morning at the time of filming this which is gonna come out the same day uh like mgk is my favorite artist and he dropped his new album mainstream sellout and i've been sitting jamming to that and i'm just like yeah man it's, it's great man i got some more big time motivational tunes to listen to man all right but here we go, let's see. There we go. Get that out of there. Get that up there. Get that down there. And even like the backdrop artwork for these things look really, really sick. It makes me want to like cut them out, honestly. Like, cause you know, just decorating and designing in here and such. Even using some of the, the backdrops and such and boxes for like, design that does look really cool i don't know maybe i'll do something with it. but yeah man so now we've got 17 bajillion freaking plastic strips here all right hopefully ow frick okay well that one was, <laughs> that one was wild let's see um is there is there another one there's another one hiding somewhere yep there there it is if i can get it y'all might see me struggle with these for a little bit but yeah i guess in the meantime i'll talk why not not gonna do a jump cut but you know, getting some more Bakugan content in there, the unboxing such the last couple of days. Um, I just, one thing I just say is like, don't think I only do one thing. Like I do both Beyblade and Bakugan on here. Is there more of one with the content than others sometimes? Yes, you know, but like just patience. There's also plenty to go back and watch in the meantime and also understand I am one person also working a job, coming home, sometimes being really exhausted and sometimes even coming home being exhausted. I still crank for y'all. You know, when I should honestly be sleeping. So, you know, waiting for any certain thing. Patience, there's plenty to go back and watch. I know for a fact, majority of y'all haven't seen all the content on here. And also, another segue, I guess. Um, the majority of you guys are not subscribed to this channel. So, 
um, it'll be really nice, like, it'll be much appreciated if you do like, like the video, sub to the channel, all that good stuff, because, I mean, I put out, what's better, like, I put out content every single day, or try to, I do have break days and such, because, you know, I'm, I'm a human, and I like sitting back and chilling, um, and relaxing, all that good stuff, because, um, I'm a human, even though I do put out content sometimes, like, I'm a robot, ah, crap, but yeah, just for real, like, side note, it's okay to have different interests and hobbies and such, I mean, heck, today, Kirby, like, not only the mainstream sellout come today, uh, come out today, Kirby and the Forgotten Land dropped as well, and I've been sitting, playing that and such, like, I have different interests and things I enjoy doing, but, you know, still putting out stuff on the on the regular stuff any y'all are waiting for anything just just patience you know do my best to keep up and such and also when it comes to deck building it takes a little bit of time to actually go through and sort all the cards for deck building like it takes more time to honestly deck build than it does to uh make beyblade combos just just saying that on the real beyblade combos may take like a matter of minutes deck building even just sorting the cards for like a few decks takes hours like the last bunch that i made at the end of last year i was legit sitting there sorting cards for the better part of half of the day and then yeah like taking breaks with it, of course but still sitting there sorting all the cards and stuff but uh yeah and making all those decks it took about the span of in total a span of about four days to do that but that was also like considering i had um you know like working other things going too but yeah so anyways finally getting all the plastic strips and stuff i know it took a little bit um but just so much with these packs you know a lot of contents with them all right so let's see here gotta get those got the core yeah the cores uh the gate cards all that good stuff all right so now let's get into it man so we've got the gate cards here uh pinsatar on this one so big boost for pyrus arliss and ventus all right and then we got Archeleon, a uh, big boost for Pyrus with that one. Also, if your Bakugan has a Flame Fist, you get the bonus with that. Uh, your Bakugan has a Magic Shield. You know, if it has the Magic Shield bonus, then, you know, it gets it if it lands on this. Um, and Archeleon looking re really sick. And then Sharktar with, yo, with Shun Lightning and Winton all there looking really sick. But Aqua's getting the biggest boost for this one. Arliss not too far behind. And Magic Shield bonus for that one. So, yeah, dude. All right, now we got to get into the cores. And they've been putting a lot of really good cores in with uh, these packs. All right, man. So let's see. Uh, plus 600 Magic Shield. Not bad at all. That's very, very nice. Plus 150, plus one for uh, the Fist. That's very nice. Uh, plus 500 for that Magic Shield. It's pretty decent. The best one's 650, you know. But yeah, like 500 is still a pretty decent one. Plus 250, plus three for the Flame Fist. That's nice. Um, another plus... 250 plus three and then we got one more that being a magic shield and plus 600 overall not bad no 650s with this one so it could be like a little bit better but still in general not too bad of course with it you know probably the worst one was like the 500 magic shield but still all right so now i want to get into uh the nano gun first so you know so people think i sit and i roast the nano gun i don't roast them you know just i i just say like how with the first era uh, the Baku Nanos, I was the biggest fan of them because they're button activated and then you just attach them to the Baku gun. But these, I love how they still have the ball forms and such, and especially how they've implemented them in the show and their designs and stuff. Definitely love it. I just love that they still have the sphere shape with them, you know, even being manual. Like, I will legit use these with deck profiles, like when I start building decks using Nano Gun, which won't be too far away for sure. But yeah, we got Crystal in here, and Dark is looking really cool. I love the transparent pink plastic they use for this. It looks really, really sick, man. Looking so, so good. But overall, like, kind of a moth kind of design Bakugan. But, uh, yeah, so you can see the wings right there. Uh, kind of like the thorax part of the body, you know. Um, and then up there you can see, like, kind of the horn that it has. And, of course, those buggy eyes right there looking really, really cool. So, yeah, let's see the way to close it up. Um, arms in. And the head, I'm guessing just the head down and the arms go in. May maybe. All right, maybe. All right, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Boom, boom, and then the bottom part. So, uh, just a, a little out of a little bit out of shape. If I can get it, and going a little bit out of focus. <laughs> it's doing like the Harlem Shake or something. Just trying to fit it. All right, boom, boom, and boom. All right, there we go. So there is Darkest Nano uh, Crystalline in the closed form, looking really, really sick. Like I said, overall. 
sticking to the designs of the nano gun because they still have the ball form with them, man. So even being manual, I have no gripes about this. No problem with them at all. Still really, really sick, dude. These uh, nano gun are looking really, really awesome. Like I said, I want to use them in profiles. All right, next up, we've got Widow here. So Widow being the spider, Webham's little baby cousin or something. I don't know. But yeah, overall looking really, really sick with the transparent uh, turquoise kind of plastic. Then you got a little bit of the, uh, you know, the lime green paint right there for the front. Uh, yeah, looking really, really cool. So pretty simple to close it up. Uh, body in. And then you put both of these. Uh, claws in for the legs, you know, and then there we go. So there is a, a Chaos Nano Widow in the closed ball form, looking really, really sick, man. All right, now we gotta get into. I guess we'll get into the Baka gun first. I'll save uh, the Slugler for a little bit, but we got Pegatrix to start it off. So um, looking really, really sick. Of course, the uh, new Aquas pattern with it. Got all the blue right there. The matte blue plastic. Sky blue paint on the tail. Also the wings. Also on um, the front shoulder blades. And then a little bit on the hooves. Um, yeah, and then the orange right there uh, on the front. A little bit of yellow right there. And also a little bit of yellow in uh, Pegatrix's eye. So, yeah. Let's see. Where the heck is that B-Power? There it is. B-Power of 200. So I wonder if it's going to have like additional bonus with it or if it'll be like, oh, take a core from the opponent. In that case, it'll definitely be usable. But yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. Otherwise, it's getting up to like A50 right away. So hopefully it would have some pretty good damage with it. But yeah, and I see some people saying um, that some of the Bakugan in this season aren't the greatest. Like, there are Bakugan. There still shows they have the balance, you know, because there's Bakugan that still gets strong B-Power wise. But you don't want it to be where like all the Bakugan are getting insanely powerful because then it would start to be like power creep type of area and one thing that they're doing really well with this is they're not having an insane power creep the bakugan are getting stronger over time but still having some balance with that some of them like you know not having like that much damage if they have a uh, high b power and vice versa like not having that much b power up in their damage and making them usable with, like damage decks and such but yeah and once again try to get it closed um maybe and it's a little tough with this package tricks just because you gotta close all the parts up and then put the body together otherwise like as you saw right there a hoover or something won't uh, go in, but yeah, all right, so boom, boom, hopefully we got it this time, no, the leg's trying to come undone, don't do that, don't, what, what the fuck, all right, there we go, just a little tricky to close, uh, yeah, it's gotta have the hooves in, you know, when closing it up, but anyways, there's Aquas Pegatrix in the closed ball form, looking really, really awesome, man, Aquas action symbol right there, I love how the sky blue paint is popping with, uh, more of like it's more of like a kind of what's the best way of saying it like more of a definite aqua blue like a lighter aqua blue uh paint well not paint plastic that they're using for this season which definitely don't mind it at all definitely makes it unique and makes these bakugan stand out like all these different color uh patterns that they have with the bakugan for the season are really really sick but yeah so anyways next up we've got aquas nilly is here nilly is looking so sick using the third season mold not even upset about that uh, cause I think it's the most solid core mold for Nilia, so it looks really, really cool having the three heads and such. B power of 800, so if it has, uh, one of the magic shields with it, it's going up to 1450, and that'll be big. But yeah, man, all the sky blue on it looking really, really cool. Sky blue right there for kind of the front plate. And my kitty in the background, meowing and stuff, but yeah. Um, and then you've got, uh, you know, sky blue on the wings as well. And then a little bit right around where the heads are, you got some yellow in the heads. You got orange right there at the top. Uh, yeah, but the yellow in the eyes, overall looking really, really cool, dude. I like the, you know, the the Geogon Rising mold for uh, Nilius, but yeah, just having the three heads with it. All right, so close all that up. Uh, the wings in. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Got to make sure the feet are in enough, otherwise, like, the wings won't go all the way down. There we go. And then uh, the tail. Get that clicked in, and then the head to hold everything together. So there it is, man. Aquas Nilius in the closed form. Looking so, so sick, man. Looks really, really solid. Um, yeah, it, it's looking really good in Aquas, no doubt. Um, I guess next up, we'll get into the Geogon. So that being Slugler. So Chaos, Slugler with this one. They're putting in Geogon with this season. So still, it shows how much of a melting pot the season is. Like, older molds for some Bakugan, giving them boost and such. Um... 
you know, with their stats, some Bakugan that weren't released before. It's the perfect time to put out Bakugan we haven't seen before. Like, I really hope they put in, like, Tico and Gorillion. Like, f for real, man. Like, they're, they're two of my favorite Bakugan from the first two seasons, and they haven't made a single move for either one of those two, and they're so awesome. Like, those are the only things that are missing, I'd say. Like, Tico, Gorillion. We got, like, Cloud Thor, Apollyon, but it would be cool if they did, like, just Apollyon. Same thing if they made Artulian. Uh... Yeah, you know, some of the Bakugan, we haven't seen them actually make into actual Bakugan. But yeah, and especially if they can make Leonidas, like, yeah. Uh, and I hope they make Leonidas in other factions, for real, man. Because it's amazing having an Arliss one, but I definitely want to see it in other factions. But yeah, you got the yellow right there for Slugglers, kind of eyes right there. Uh, you got the tentacles right there using that transparent plastic, the transparent turquoise plastic. Got the white pearlescent uh, plastic as well that they use for this. It's really, really shiny for sure. Um... But yeah, then you can see the Heos, uh, you know, kind of faction, additional faction symbol right there. Like the Heos faction pattern, I'll call it. Uh, you got silver right there for the head. Overall looking really, really cool, dude. So let's see, where the heck's that V-Power? Is that it right there? Uh, yeah, they put it in the turquoise. Well, like, yeah, turquoise paint. I think that says 400. Yeah, 400. Okay, so. V-Power 400. So it can get up to like 1,000, like 1050 right away. So maybe it'll be low cost with it or have an additional effect. Who knows? But yeah. So anyways, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh wait, I put I put in the put it in the wrong way. Okay, let's see. Head, shoulders, there we go. Go that way. Knees and toes. And if I can just there we go. I had to move it out of the way a bit. But yeah, man, so there is Chaos Slugler in the closed form. Looking really, really sick, dude. Like I said, it's the perfect time for them to put out all the Bakugan they had planned for previous uh, waves. Like, now's the perfect time to put them out, no doubt about it. Um, you know, that were scrapped in, like, previous seasons. Because, you know, just they had to crunch down and get rid of some of the Bakugan with the previous season. Because, you know, just time crunches. But now's the perfect time to really put them in. Which they've been doing with some of them, for sure. But, yeah. Anyways. Now. Last but not least, we got to get into the Platinum Series Bakugan. That being... Uh, Chaos Platinum Drago, so using the silver, just full metallic, uh, silver metal for it, you know, makes sense with that. Got the silver, uh, it's also metal at the top right there, so this itself is even metal. Like, the top part of Drago, they use a lot of metal for these, like I said, big props to Spin Master for using this much die cast metal, uh, with, you know, with these Bakugan. It's really, really crazy, man, but the sky blue paint right there. Um, got some on the tail as well. Also some on the wings. Chaos faction symbol right there. Overall looking really, really cool, dude. Then you can see the details for uh, Drago's teeth. And then even for the eyes. You can even see the detail in the eyes, man. So, so sick. Um, and then the sky blue on the horn. So, yeah. Let's see. Um, where the heck is that bee power? Hiding is on the tail. It's probably on the tail. Yeah, it's on the tail. All right. So, bee power of... I think 700 yeah 700 all right so you know one thing i realized too which is kind of surprising they always go by like the 100 they've never gone by like 50s it'll be wild if they start making bach gun they're like say like you know like 650 750 550 whatever um i don't know i just think it would like definitely switch up things for sure they think of that because i mean we got cores that you know magic shields that go up to 650 just thinking about that like done it with some cores they haven't done with the bakugan like you know even just increments of 50 like 600 650 you know or 750 any of you know what i mean but yeah yeah see my kitty agrees but overall chaos platinum dragon is looking really really solid dude looking really really cool but yeah anyways way to close it up you got the legs back uh pushed by it together some quagmire giggity giggity type stuff i don't know but yeah then the head um and then that no 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 i learned my lesson the tail first and then the wings there we go usually do it backwards or go and try to do it backwards and then i have to reopen it but yeah so there it is man chaos platinum drago in the closed ball form looking so sick all the weight with it man for sure like with melee there's definitely got to be a tier for like platinum series bakugan because all the metal and then like there's the standard bakugan in another tier because you know if, if you have like these bakugan face up against the regulars in melee um, you know, because it's holidays with the old school style where you can get critical KOs and stuff like the <laughs> the Platinum Series Bakugan are going to whoop booty because for sure they're just they're just so heavy. 
you know, would push the other Bakugan out of the way and they wouldn't have a chance for sure. But yeah. Anyways, now we got to get into uh, the, the cards. So we got Nano Crystal in here. Um, they're basically, anybody who doesn't know about the Nano Gun, these cards are basically, they could be a second deck. So, you know, you got your three Bakugan, of course. Well, you know, three Bakugan character cards. This is like a secondary deck, basically. So you can have three Nano Gun, but then you can only use each of them one time. Once you use it, uh, you can't use it again for the battle, you know, for the entire brawl that's going on. Um, but yeah, and you can only use one of these two effects when using it. So it's all about timing with it, too. So Nano Crystalline, if you have a shield on your Bakugan, you can add a core. Um, if you have a shield and a fist on your Bakugan, you could take an opponent's core and add it. Uh, so, yeah, you know, definitely could switch up things for sure. Like adding a core or switching, uh, switching things up and taking your opponent's core. But you can only choose one of the two, you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, you could use this to get an advantage earlier in the battle or even later so you could take an opponent's core. But yeah, and overall that artwork looking sick, you know, for Crystal Lane right there. And also you can see Pegatrix in the background. Heck yeah, man. And then we got Widow here, so you can see Nilius in the background. But if you have one magic shield, plus 200. You have two magic shields, plus 600. So that's like plus 850 total, unless you're on a Fusion Bakugan. So you got to factor that in too. If you do it for a Fusion Bakugan, that's plus 1,000. Because um, Fusion magic shields get up to, uh, you know, 800. But yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have two magic shields plus 600. So even like with fusion decks, this can make it wild. Because you think about that, two 800 cores with a fusion, uh, 1600 plus that 600, that's 2200 you're getting with that, man. Or if you use like the standard ones, you can get like two 650 cores. Then it'll be 1300 plus that 600, 1900. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, but still, like you can switch up things for sure, man. And this is definitely usable in a regular uh, and just a... Uh, in a shield deck, I'd say. It's definitely it's the most useful. But yeah, so then we got Chaos Slugler here. Three cost for it. All right, 406. That artwork looking really, really sick. Uh, but if it lands on a Flame Fist, plus 1,000. So definitely use it full in a Flame Fist deck. So getting up to uh, 1650 and 9. Or 15, 50, and 10. So regardless, having some decent B power. But a lot of damage for sure. Three costs, not bad at all. Uh, yeah, so then... Next, we got Nilius here, 804. It's got one of the Magic Shield, Magic Shield, and a regular Fist. So it's going to get up to 1450. 1450 and 4. Breaking 1000, having 4 damage with it. Yeah, definitely usable. Pretty strong for sure. And like I said, it's just nice having that balance and such. I'd say the real realm, like, you know, breaking 1000, they're definitely usable. I'd say the realm should stay between, like, 1300 and like 1700 that a Bakugan could get to right away. Um, you know, that's just with the, with the single cores. You know, obviously, some Bakugan have some wild uh magnets and then they can pick up and double core and such, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'd say that's a good round as long as they're not making Bakugan that are getting like 1800, 1900, 2000 right away with just landing on a core. Like, that would be overkill, in my opinion. But yeah, they're still keeping that balance and such, even improving like. Uh, you know, stats of some of the Bakugan, you know, slowly getting stronger over time, but still keeping that balance by not giving them that much damage. Uh, so, yeah, but Nilly is looking really, really sick right there. And then we got Chaos Platinum Dragon. Oh, it's got two magic shields with it. All right, 17, well, 705, uh, getting up to 1350 and five right away. So, yeah, Dragon ain't playing, that's for sure. And you can see the the chaos elemental energy coming from it. it looks so so cool man they use the same sort of like graphics and stuff in the show so they're making the bakugan really similar to how they are in the show but yeah all right so then we got uh pegatrix here aqua's pegatrix 206 now that's that's honestly kind of sad yeah like 206 um it's getting up to max 450 yeah 450 and 10 so definitely damage deck deals with it or 350 and no 450 and 9 or 350 and 10 so definitely damage doc deals with it but if you land on a flame fist you could take an opponent's core that will help it out for sure because i mean you think it gets up to like 450 right away and then you take like a magic shield from your opponent then in that case you get up to 1100 and it could break a thousand so yeah that's why these effects are important people think that um you know some of these bakugan in this case like oh it's not going to be that useful or that good but it's just about the strategy with it because that that symbol right there means taking a core from your opponent and adding it to Pegatrix. 
on the plus of 650, like I said, plus the 450, it could break 1,000, get up to 1,100, and still have, like, 9 damage with it. So it could break 1,000 and have some serious damage with it, and that makes it dangerous, honestly. Having that much damage, but then also breaking 1,000 with the B power, yeah, definitely usable. It's just about how you use it. It's big time strategy with these Bakugan for sure, man. That's one thing I really enjoy. But yeah, anyways, it's time to uh, do some opening action. Why not? Because we got a few Bakugan we got to open with this. So, uh, yeah, first of all, I'll drop it. That being Slugler. Three, two, one. And yeah, man. So, you already know. Just open straight up. The tentacles and such going out. There is Chaos Slugler. And then we've got Nilly or something here. Hey, got it. Uh, then we got Pegatrix. Ah, oh, of course, missed with Pegatrix. Oh, well, it happens. It happens, man. Maybe the, maybe the backspin? No, no. All right, well, let's try this again. Okay, well, probably not going to get with Pegatrix. Let's try Drago. Ooh, Drago's going to be stubborn, too. All right, well, let's see who's going to open sooner. Nope. All right, well. Uh, how do you land in the gap like that? All right, well. Hit him with the Jakusa roll. Straight up. Oh, there's a magnet. And hey, okay. There we go. Got a pack of tricks right there. And then, last but not least, Drago. If we can get Drago. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, there we go. Holy crap. It just yeeted the whole core with it. Um, it can pick up two. It's got a good magnet. It can pick up two. Pack of tricks. Uh, if you're careful, maybe. Because, I mean, it, it matters if it can pick up two cores. Uh, if you're careful, yeah, I could pick up two cores. You see it right there. How about Nilius? Oh, damn. Nilius is magnet and picked up the whole gate card, so I think it should be able to pick up two. Yeah, it could pick up two. That's a strong magnet right there for sure, but guess gotta be careful when lifting it up. So, yeah. But anyways, all of them, really, really strong magnets with them, so they can double core. So if you double core especially, it can speed up the effect of the, of the nano gun and such. But, yeah, man. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Evolutions Dragonoid Slugler uh, Battle Strike Pack unboxing. Yeah. Well, the review on the epic Bakugan Evolutions, you know, Drago Slugler Battle Strike Pack. But, yeah, man, and you already know, with all the contents in here, longer video, it happens, man. Um, you know, I like going into all the details with the Bakugan as such. That way you guys know what you're getting if you manage to find this on your shelves and such. Uh, yeah, but is it worth picking up? I would definitely say so. Everything in here is definitely usable. No doubt about it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, once again, big time shout out and thank you to D-Heart for picking this up for me. Uh, his channel link is in the description. Go and show him some love, you guys. And, you know, tell him I sent you. Be like hashtag chicken nuggets or hashtag Bakugan or like Kimbo sent me. Anything. Like, go and show him some love because support Bakutuber, support Bakugan. And that man is still super underrated and deserves some damn love. No doubt. But yeah, anyways, till next time, guys. It's your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome and Bakugan Brawl. I'm up out of here.